Hi guys, uh, today we'll see how do we compress the values of an array um, using the coordinate compression method. So this coordinate compression method allows you to map the values of the array from 0 to n or uh, from 0 to n minus 1 or 1 to n. So uh, how do we do this? Um, we'll create a map of values. So now um, basically we compress the values of the original array to a lower range of values and um, so first we have like a, a map data structure um, so this map data structure will essentially hold the values of the original array and uh, so here uh, 27 gets mapped to 3 and uh, 64 gets mapped to 4 and 128 gets mapped to 5 and 4 gets mapped to 2 and 3 gets mapped to 1. So essentially you reduce the values inside the original array. Um, so let's see the coding part of this. Um, so let's say we have an uh, C++ file and um, we need to include all of the header files that are needed and uh, let's say we use the namespace std and uh, we have an array of values um, say values equals we'll copy this And um, let's create a map data structure that holds the compressed values. Um, so the map data structure essentially contains <coughs> a key and a value pair. So the key will be contained in the first and uh, value will be contained in the second of the map. So um, let's say we have an uh, another variable say count or equals one and um, what we are going to do is yeah we are going to create entries inside the compressed for each of the values so we look through all the values and uh, say compressed of i so this creates entries for all of the values inside the array and um, we'll have like and we'll loop through all of the compressed and uh, we'll create a reference for this so now um, we are going to essentially create values for the, I mean, we are going to create the mappings for the original array. So now three comes first because map, inside map, um, all the entries are automatically sorted. Um, so we are going to just say i dot second equals, um, count plus plus that's it we're done so we now have these maps values so 3 now corresponds to 1 4 corresponds to 3 4 corresponds to 2 27 corresponds to 3 and 64 corresponds to 4 and 128 for 5 um, now we just refill the original array for that we go like for int and i in values um, we say i equals um, compressed of i
that's it we're done how easy and uh, we'll display all of the values We'll compile it. Compile is good enough. And uh, yeah, there we have three, four, five, and two, one. I mean, two, one. Okay, yeah, it has to be two, one. My bad. Yeah, so that's all. Um, so, an important property of this is that. Um, it helps you in various ways um, so here you have the original array um, that's increasing like uh, 20 so 27 is uh, lesser than 64 and 64 is less than 128 and then you have decreasing order so the same order is also preserved here um, this can be used in various computation process and um, when you want to normalize the original array into a series of lower ranged values yeah, so thank you guys. Have a nice day.